in a world where Chuck Redfield thought that they would have new weapons for Engineer by now. Um, it hasn't happened yet. So instead, he's going to do a uh, brief revision of some of the spots that I uh, sort of did. Uh, or some of the maps I did way back when the uh, NG guys first came out. And it's basically just going to be a coverage of spots people suggested me and I didn't really put up on the actual videos. Or spots that I figured out on my own. Or spots that I've seen other engineers use that have been quite effective. I'm just going to reload that because I can. Uh... This first point on Northwood, it's one that I generally use when I'm playing in pubs and I want to be a bit more aggressive because the uh, comp hold of putting the gun here is of questionable effectiveness due to the fact it's uh, you're up against how many people standing up there with various sort of multiple classes. It works well in Highlander because you've only got one of each class and it's less difficult to sort of fight off a bunch of people. But uh, I quite like this one because you can't be seen by snipers particularly well. Uh, you can be spammed out from over there, but it's an awkward angle, and this gun will shoot anybody who comes sort of within viewable distance of it up to a point. Uh, you do have to watch out for spies getting in front of it, but you could, if your teammates play on this left side with you, it becomes a very easy hole to defend. Um, teleport and dispenser stay back there generally. You can move the dispenser to somewhere like here, so your team's uh, mates have somewhere to get healed up. You've got somewhere to get metal. And from here, you can sort of, if you've got this hold locked down and your team's pushing up to somewhere like here, you can always, if you can make it in one jump, no, I've got extra jump height as well. Uh, you can always bring the gun up and move it to somewhere like there. And yeah, this is upward. These are going to be relatively quick fire. The only reason this one's taken so long is because I had to explain the whole intro thing. Alright, uh, I will be back with the next spot. Uh, it turns out this is still a thing. I'll, I'll just show you how this works. Just n nestle in here and just... Just, just build, just build a center under these stairs. Just, just, just stick one under these stairs right here. Hockey dokey. Briefly mention this. Uh, I do play occasionally a bit of sort of level three uh, engineer on payload offense, and one of the better things you can do for the third point is run underneath here when the payload carts say about I don't know here-ish. Get underneath here, go around here, down, 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 round, round, round. Keep your metal up to 100 if possible. And get a level 1 gun here, and then you can sort of peek this, see if there's a gun or anything there, which usually there isn't because this isn't comp. And you can come up behind people and just sort of shotgun them in the back, or keep the level 1 gun up with the 100 metal down below and harass. Try and get to level 2, and then you end up giving sort of up to this area. And even into that house a little bit, you were pretty much covering the uh, third point. Let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't shoot the drop down itself, but it shoots pretty close to it, depending on how far you put this gun out. And no one can see this until they get to about here, which is within shooting range. Uh, the only way it's going to get destroyed is probably blown up from here, or you get killed while you're trying to build it. Um, I think that's about it for Upward. I will... actually, no, there isn't, there isn't it for Upward. Another good thing to do with minis, level 3s, whatever you like. Building under here. Uh, getting a gun up under here. It covers all of that right side pretty much, and is quite good for harassing people on that balcony up there. Uh, it doesn't shoot right into the corner where the snipers like to stand, but it's pretty damn close. And yeah, I'd say that's about it for wooden to more gimmicky maps or and or spots. I will be back momentarily. Ooh. Frontier now. Uh, third point? Yeah, third point, because for whatever reason, the third point's in there. You can get on top of this roof. Uh, it requires either a, re a rebel for it, Scooby-Doo, a rebel for you, anger rump. No, um, a level three Wrangler jump, uh, or well, you can do it with level ones, but obviously that's awkward. I'll demonstrate that hopefully. Get the gun up, or you can get a teleporter on the back left corner, which I will also demonstrate momentarily. Position myself right. I've got haste on at the moment, so I'm kind of off. Hang on, I'm going to try one more time, and then I'm just going to give up because wasting time and all that. There you go. So you can, can get up here with the level 1 Wrangler jump, but it's awkward. Um, getting on top of this roof, it's obviously you're going to need the Wrangler to cover the very bottom of the cart track, but it's a reasonably good spot to sort of spam out. And if you have a teleporter with level 3, a level 3 teleporter up here, or just a teleporter in general, you can get teammates supporting you. Sorry, I'm just baffled by a bucket. Anyway, um... Yeah, this is the only spot that I really got recommended on Frontier, and off the top of my head, I can't really think of any that would be particularly good um, that I haven't already covered. Anyway, next map. 
Right, I'm going to save us all a bit of effort and just no clip around with the level 1, I think. Um, first point, this can cover the cart track here. Uh, they do have to capture it, obviously, to get second, but generally there'll be a gun in the barn as well. Uh, this holds the hill, which is generally a good place to sort of keep locked down. Uh, if they get the first point, it's quite easy to fall out of here and just back up, because you can see the gun from down here, and you can just pull it out with the... Well, you can see the gun if you position it right. And you can pull it out with the rescue ranger. If you want to, you can sort of hang around here and try and hold it, although I generally build a teleport entrance... Or an exit, sorry, up here, ready for second point as a uh, precautionary tail. What you can do, however, is put an entrance down here and jump on top of the teleporter when shit gets rough. But that's uh, entirely up to you. Uh, again, on first point, we've got this little spot, which, if you can survive the initial loop, but this is quite good because it's just... It's got fantastic coverage of all three spawn doors, pretty much, I believe. Let's pick it up and have a look. If it would place, there we go. Yeah, it shoots almost all the way into the uh, right door there, and there's no way anybody in their right mind is going to stand. Uh, there's there's no room for someone to stand in there. Sorry, there's no, it it doesn't cover the entire thing, but there's not enough room for someone to stand in there themselves. And where else did I have in mind? Oh god, there was a good one. Oh yeah, right. In comp, this is a no build zone. In pubs, it is a build zone. If you can get it in there, yep. It does cover the cart track, and I don't know if you can build over on this side. I think it's right up against the barrel. That the hell? I'm stuck on. Oh, is the awning? That would be why. Can't build underneath the awning, but you can get a level three gun up here, and it's a nasty surprise. And if there's not enough pressure on the cart, this can cover it pretty damn well. If I can get this to level three, I'm able to move it. Yeah, let's have a look. I'm just trying to position it in such a way that you can tell. I can't even place the damn thing. There we go. It's awkward to get the angle right. Very awkward because you've got this thing. Actually, stand here now. Okay. Let's see how far back I can get this. There. So, that should cover the lower door there, the car track itself, and it should just generally be a damn annoyance to take down, especially if you've got teleporter support in... Well, generally I move the teleporter to here when I actually get to the point because... If someone stands in that back area, they'll spam it out, and then you lose your teleporter, which is one of your most important support things. But a level 3 gun up there is just a nightmare to deal with, because it doesn't cover the doorway here, but to actually attack it, you have to be in visual range. There's no way of attacking this gun without being in visual range of it, uh, which, obviously, it's going to require an uber or something like that. Uh, I am on... Let me, let, me, let me drop my haste power up real quick, so I can show something here. Go away. All right. You can make this jump if I'm not bad. Yeah. So, you can sit up here and just rescue ranger spam this. Why am I not reloading? What the hell? Oh, right, because taste power up drop means I don't have the clip. There we go. You can just sit up on the little uh, awning there and uh, heal the ready sentry from long range, and you can use the rescue ranger to pull it out and then just walk out this back door if they're just pushing the cart anyway. At which point then you have to kind of set up up there because then you're in a pincer maneuver unless you're quick to get up here. And because you're carrying with the rescue ranger, you can be marked for death. So uh, That's it for barn blitz, I think, other than just showing a few little gimmicky things you can do. Um, bringing a surprise gun in here on offense isn't a bad idea. And if you randomly sentry jump, you can just... Oh god, I'm stuck in the wall. Okay, okay. You don't want to let me do it? Fine, that's cool. I'm fine with that. I'll try it again. No. You can stand up there. Uh, I believe it's on the ledge to my left right now. You can just stand up there and be out of sight lines of everybody and just have the gun being repaired there, but then you have to watch out for spies. And you can put a dispenser in that doorway, but they can crouch jump over it because it's not on a uh, raised plane. Actually, I forgot to mention, if I can get it to work, I might need to use a dispenser. Hey, oh, someone's joining my game. Quick! Act fast! You can get a gun up here. Um, limited use, but reasonably effective. And a sentry gun on top of that box, I don't know if I've discussed it before or not, is quite effective. And you can put rockets on it and it won't kill you. So uh, I'll just show that momentarily. Choose the rescue engine for convenience. Oop. Yeah, you can build on top of this box, which is quite difficult to take down. Uh, you don't have to worry about people dropping down from that ledge until they're actually on the ground. And if the gun catches them, they'll get blasted back by uh, knockback. I'm assuming the Rubid. 
and it covers up the upper area reasonably well as well. Uh, that's it for Bomb Blitz, and we will be back with the next map. Remember kids, don't forget to put passwords on your randomly created servers that are totally suitable for hosting. What the hell, where's the awning? What the shit? Oh, is it that awning? Let me, let me test here. No. I thought... Wait, what? Did they... What? Did they remove this? What the hell? When did... I thought there was an awning on here. Huh. I guess they removed it, because I, I swear to God, a guy commented on one of my videos to say, uh... You can build on top of the awning on there, but th there's no awning anymore. Did that get removed, like, in a stealth patch or something? Huh. I guess I'll just leave this in and just call it that. I don't know anything else on Gold Rush. That was it. I was going to say you can build on top of the awning there. And it's a nightmare to take down, but if they get an Uber... If it survives the initial Uber out of spawn, you can just wreak havoc with it, because it's in a stupidly trolly position. I'm going to go watch that video back. Alright. Okay, never mind. I was talking shit. Um, yeah, you can build on top of that. The positioning on it is a fucking nightmare, though. Uh, it's gimmicky as all hell, but good god would it level some people. Uh, actually putting the gun up there without, like, a level 3 jump is probably going to be quite difficult, so you need time to do it, like, at the very beginning of the setup round. Uh, I'd say it's probably going to require, like, a rescue range or a rescue ranger pull, so you jump from, say, somewhere like here, and then use the rescue ranger to pull it from down here. Let me... I'll actually give it a go and see how difficult it is, because getting the t I'd basically put the teleport up there in no clip. So, let's upgrade this and we'll have a look at how difficult this is. It's probably going to be a piece of piss easy, but... I'll show just how sort of awkward the positioning of a sentry gun is up there. Land up here, pull it, and then you can get it there. It's it, There's barely room for two buildings up here, it's just for a gimmicky level 3 at the very start. Uh, but... If people don't expect it, you can stand back here somewhere and just go spam, 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 and then just pull it out if it gets too damaged. Um, I think the only issue you'd ever run into with this thing up there and it not being destroyed would be running out of ammo because it's just going to tear through people. I'm very tempted to go test this right now, but uh, I don't like Gold Rush. I don't play Gold Rush. I don't much care for Gold Rush. Anyway, um, that's pretty good gimmicky. I like it, and Valve should probably make it a no build zone. All right. Right, let's talk Gravel Poot, otherwise known as Gravel Pit. For this map, I generally like to... I don't know, It's from what I've seen, it seems to work quite well as putting a heavy on the roof. Um, best way to do this is to set up time in... It's a comp scenario, generally, because you generally have more teammates willing to suicide at the start of the round. Uh, perfectly possible to do on the start of the... Uh, or around in pubs and stuff, it's just a case of whether people follow you to be or not. I can't super jump yet. But, you get your gun to level 3, I'm doing it with haste because I get extra metal and it's easier to sort of just demonstrate things with it. Uh, I can add extra speed and stuff like that, but there's no point. So you get your gun to level 3, you hop up here, and then you stick your teleporter entrance up here, or exit up here. Uh, Medibeams can reach up here, and or reach up to the roof if the people stand on the edge of it, so you can end up with something like a soldier and a heavy on the roof, and that equals a nice defense, and people and heavies dropping down onto the roof. Denies bombers as well, so all the soldiers and demos can't get up there. Uh, we'll briefly talk defense, or offense. Uh, the rule of putting people on the roof and denying access to the roof goes both ways. If you can get a gun of any description of level 1 or level 2 in this area, you can help deny uh, people getting on the roof of B, which means your team can push up from this left side and sort of wiggle their way around to the sentry. Um, generally I'd say though that the best thing to do, which I may have talked about in the actual video, I don't recall, I'm just going to unno clip from here, is getting a level 3 here after you capture day, you bring your gun with you, you put your dispenser in the doorway, get your level 3 gun up to here, and then you just let it cause havoc outside of their spawn while your team goes to capture B. So the point of this is is that, uh, let's say uh, my team kills off their engineer, the gun stays up, and they need a new one to take it down, which they really shouldn't if there's no engineer. But Okay, let's say the medic dies then. Medic's got to walk all the way back unless there's a teleporter somewhere here, but I don't even know if you can build in this area. I don't think you can actually. I think there's a big delay. There is a... yeah, like, building in... I think you can build in spawn on, on uh, Gravel Pit, which is dumb, but... I can't remember where. I think it's on this little console here, actually. There it is. Sorry for a second. 
Come in. Come in. I know I know you can build and spawn in spawn and gravel pit. I will triple check. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a second. I know I know it's on one of these like computer screens. I'll uh, cut the recording and come back. It may have been patched out. Can't confirm. Um generally the talk was that it was about three years ago that that was actually a viable thing. Uh, gravel pit, gravel pit, gravel pit. Yeah, bring level 3s on offense and you can cause some havoc potentially. Uh, just getting one, like, in this area can be annoying as shit as well. Uh, it's just a case of trying to deny access to their team from getting a gun up here. Or just denying them, uh, access out of their spawn. Anyway, we'll move on to the next map. Right, Swiftwater, aka the last map for today. Uh, all credit to Sigafu for this one, because... It's pretty much his thing. I'm just reiterating the fact. I will probably put the video in the description that Sigafu actually did this thing on, but it was in his map review against a another platinum team. And it basically consisted of getting a level 3 gun up here before uh, he, he didn't even bother with um, first point because he didn't see the value in holding a point that's just virtually impossible to ever hold. I don't know if anybody's ever held first point on Swift War ever, because it's just garbage. Um, and his little method was get a teleporter up in here, sort of behind the window, have his entire team basically, apart from I think the... Can you, yeah. Having his entire team apart from I think the soldier and the scout, which were controlling down there, uh, cover this upper area and force their Ubers as soon as possible, and then he'd just sort of move along this bridge. And that basically won him the uh, UGC match against whatever team he was playing against at the time. And yeah, it's an absolute nightmare to get rid of this gun, uh, other than the spy backstabbing you, which shouldn't happen if the combo's around you. I'm going to link that video, because I'm just pretty much saying what he said word for word. Uh, I'm now going to steal this and briefly discuss some other spots that I don't know if I showed or not. Fuck's sake. <laughs> you can build top of here, which is good but it's aggressive and it doesn't quite cover the far right there so you do need your team supporting you on this one it's a weird spot same goes for this it's another odd odd spot that i don't know if there's any value in if you let me build here please thank you thank you thank you thank you there we go because after that point directly in front of me gets captured they will start spawning here so you are incredibly far forward but there's no angle of shooting this gun other than maybe on top of the... Uh, no, it's covers even up there. The only angle you can shoot this gun without being seen by it is on top of that roof over there, which would be odd positioning. And then you have Rock Spot. Uh, Sigafu, once again, linking the video because too lazy to explain properly. Uh, he basically had minis up here, a dispenser here, so he could hop up and just shoot people in the windows as well as not being seen by them. And it was a case of holding this further forward ground. And that's pretty much it for Swiftwater. I can't really think of much that he didn't cover that I can really add personally because generally it seems like he put down some uh, new meta for this map. Uh, the gun spot here is still decent. It's just it w it's level threes are hard to maintain. Uh, I can imagine the one up there being quite good, but it just doesn't. It's it, you need your team to be forward. You need someone covering that, and you need time to position into it because generally uh, the Third point? Yeah, I looked at my arm as if I had a watch telling me what points to... I don't even know. The third point is generally held quite aggressively and people want to stay here for as long as possible because it can be a good hold. So you don't really get time to build a level 3 gun up there. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Fucking... I can't remember the name of them. The two Ronnies. Um, you can get a gun up there and it could potentially be very, very, very effective, but it's... I don't know. You don't have time to mess about with it generally. Anyway, we'll leave it at that. I may have more footage before this, but I doubt there'll be any afterwards because everything else past this point will be new territory and I'm considering doing something like um, Nucleus next, maybe. Alright, thanks very much for watching and I will see you hopefully soon with another guide to another map that I haven't thought about yet.